Hello folks. So in this video I'm going to go through the code that I used for creating Space Invaders in Pygame. I'll launch the game to show you what it looks like. So I have this little countdown to start and then the game kicks off. I've got my little spaceship that I can move left and right and the aliens are moving around by themselves and they shoot at me and I can shoot back. So there's uh, sound effects, there's little explosion animations and you notice the spaceship also has a health bar. So if I get, if I take damage the health goes down and if I go all the way down then I get a game over. So then I've got a couple of buttons to either play again or quit. If I play again everything just resets back to the start. So I've got full health, all the aliens are back. So the, the game is uh, fully functional. So I will just jump straight into how to code it. So first of all you want to define or sorry you want to import your modules. So to start with I will only import a couple. So I import Pygame and from Pygame Locals, import star. And I will import a few more as, uh, as the code grows, but for now this is all I need. The next thing I need to do is create my game window. So for that, first of all, I define a couple of variables, which are just my width and height. So the screen width is 600 pixels, screen height is 800 pixels. And using these two variables now, I can create my game window. So I set that to a variable called screen, and I call pygame.display.set underscore mode. And in here, I put in the screen width and the screen height. So this creates an untitled window, and I just need to add uh, a title to it. So I'm going to use pygame.display.set caption. And in here, I will just put space invaders. So that game window now is going to be called space invaders in the top left. So that's the basic initial setup, and now I want to create my game loop. So I will set an initial running condition, so I'll set run equals true, and I will use a while loop for the game. So while run, and what this basically means is as long as the run condition is true, whatever is inside this uh, while loop is going to be executed. So that means that to quit the game, I just need to set the run variable to false at some point in the game. So the first time that I'm going to be able to add that in is with my event handlers. So I'll add a comment here, add a comment for event handlers. And this is done by iterating through all the events within Pygame. So for event in pygame.event.get, I can then look for a specific event. So the one I'm looking for is event.type equals pygame.quit capitals. Uh, and that event is when you click the X button in the top right of the corner. So if that happens, then I just set run to false. And that is going to kick me out of this while loop. So that will end the game. And to tidy everything up, I can just say pygame.quit at the very end. And that will complete the very basic skeleton of this code. So now I can run this just to test everything is okay. And you can see I've got my game window. It says Space Invaders in the top. And at the moment, it's just a blank screen. I don't have a background or any color on it at the moment at all. So that is what I'm going to add next. For the background, uh, you may have noticed I just had, it was basically like a starry sky. So that was a background image that I want to load in. So I'll add a comment here to say load image. And I will set this to a BG background variable. So then I can use pygame.image.load. And in here, I provide the path for that file. And I've stored all of my images, and well, in fact, all of the media for this game, I stored within the image folder. So image forward slash, and the file was called bg.png. And I will put this, uh, I will add this uh, stuff into the description for the video so that you can download it, but you're free to use whatever else you can find. You can find all of these images on Google easily enough. So with that defined, or sorry, with that loaded, I can now create a function for drawing that background. So I will define draw underscore bg. And in here, because I've loaded this as an image, within Pygame, whenever you want to put an image onto the screen, you use the blit function. So first I call the name of my display, which I've defined previously as screen, screen dot blit. And then I just need to give it the name of the variable or the image that I want to blit onto the screen. And that variable is bg. So I put bg in here. 
and I need to give it an x and a y coordinate. So I will just say 0, 0. This way it starts in the top left hand corner of the screen. So with that created, I now need to call this function. So I'll come down here and I'll just say draw background and I will call the draw bg function. So that will add the background onto the screen. However, that does not automatically update the display. There is another function that you have to call at the end of the loop to essentially take everything that's happened. Because you remember, at the moment, all I've got is a background. But I will have additional functions for the aliens and for the bullets and for the spaceship. So all of that code is going to go into this main while loop. And at the very end is where I want to take all of that information and actually update the screen with it. So the function that I use for that is pygame.display.update. So let's just see uh, if I can run this. And there we go, it runs fine. And now I've got my background in place already. The other thing that I want to add into this is a frame rate limit. So at the moment, this code is just going to try and run everything as fast as I can. So depending on how powerful or how quick the computer is, it will run it at different speeds for different people. And potentially it's going to be too fast for some of the commands because the computer can iterate through this very quickly. So I want to be able to limit that to a particular value. I'm going to come up here where I've got my screen set up. And before here, I will just define FPS. So my frames per second. To start off with, I have to define a clock variable, which is set to pygame.time.clock. And then I set a frame rate of 60 frames per second. So with these defined, if I go back into my while loop, right at the start here, I just say clock dot tick FPS. So that code, uh, I mean, I could run this now, but you won't notice any difference because nothing is updating on the screen. But that is now limiting the screen frame rate to 60 frames per second. And that will become noticeable when there's actual movement on the screen. So the next thing to do is to add the spaceship itself and to add some controls to it to allow me to move it left and right and to shoot. But that's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to do that in a separate video. For now, I'm going to end the video here. So if you found this one useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with the next tutorial, then please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.